The Republic of Haiti, which is a member of the Caribbean community CARICOM, has been hit by a horrific 7.0 earthquake. President Preval predicts that the death toll could number in the hundreds of thousands. At times like this, we are reminded of the fragility of life. We are reminded of the unpredictability of nature. Most importantly, we are reminded of the interconnectedness of all mankind and our ultimate responsibility for each other. We here in St. Kitts and Nevis have known what it is like to be hit by natural disasters. However, the hurricanes with which we in St. Kitts and Nevis have had to deal are really nothing, absolutely nothing, in comparison to the utter horror that is being experienced by the people of Haiti at this very moment. We can all remember how much it meant to us when countries and organizations, both in the region and further afield, were sufficiently moved by our own suffering to step forward in a spirit of concern and in a spirit of humanity. The time has come for our hearts to go out to the people of Haiti now in their time of distress. This is a period of economic hardship for the entire world. However, this disaster cries out to all of us to do all that we can, whatever that may be, to provide support and relief to our sisters and brothers in Haiti. In this regard, I ask you all to make note of the following. One, I have expressed the profound concern of the government and people of our Federation to President Preval of Haiti. Two, I further ask you, the citizens and residents and visitors of St. Kitts and Nevis, to pause. Pause for a moment of silence at 6.53 p.m. tomorrow, Thursday, to show our concern and how we have been impacted by this horrific disaster. Thirdly, I urge all within the sound of my voice to donate whatever you can, however little that may be, to a church-related fund or other relief effort of your choice. But in addition, I hereby launch and declare the St. Kitts and Nevis Solidarity Fund for Haiti with an account in this same name being established at the St. Kitts, Nevis, Anguilla National Bank with the appropriate financial and societal safeguards being put in place and with all transactions to be made public to which the people of St. Kitts and Nevis and others will be free to contribute as well. At times like this, we often feel overwhelmed. We feel that nothing that we as individuals do will make a difference. The truth, however, is that if we each contributed only $10 as a nation, we would be able to send almost $500,000 to Haiti at this moment of such heartbreak. Let us then turn our hearts towards Haiti. Let us pray for Haiti. Let us indeed, at this time, which 
should prompt us to deep thought and reflection. Pray for the entire world. Thank you.